all right guys and welcome back to ask nk in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can go ahead and add video files inside your twin motion project now i have gotten a couple of questions about that initially i was a bit confused if that was even possible i actually talked about it in one of the videos and i said for now i don't think that is something that's possible but i kind of stumbled upon it out of uh, curiosity or mistake it did not work with the avi file which i tried but then i went over and just out of uh some sheer kind of uh playing around i figured out that it works with an mp4 file and so today i'm going to show you how you can go ahead and attach a movie file or video file inside your amazing amazing project so how we're going to start off is relatively simple i have a scene here which i've set up and if you want to get a hold of this scene or if you want to see how this scene was made links is going to be in the description so you can go ahead and find that out so what we're going to do is place uh, a video file directly on the screen so what i'm going to do now is just have that selected press f just to zoom right in hold down shift with the middle mouse button to rotate and just have it directly looking at us next thing which i'm going to do is you can press t on your keyboard or you can just simply select the eye picker to select and you know select the material which you want to use you can choose to make a new material there's a video that covers that but uh, if you want to go ahead and use the material that exists you can still go ahead and use the material that exists so let's create a new material now so i'm just going to click on this grid and click here to add a new material i'll click on this material drag and drop it directly here so i have a white surface you can change this color uh, to anything you want at any point in time so you can get uh, amazing amazing stuff next thing which i'm going to do is to go ahead and load up the image file now I'll, let me just quickly show you that now i have this uh file that exists here so it is a twin motion render that i made one time ago and it is an mp4 file and i want to use that same mp4 file to actually drive the image that will be displayed on the tv so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to click here where we'll have color and just simply select more and within this part where i have the texture i need to navigate to where i have this texture saved and now i have this texture saved in my d document tm which means twin motion and video files so i'm just going to click here and click on open so by default you'll not be able to see this video file as for now we don't get to see that as part of the things that are supported as image files so there is a trick to it what we can do is you see now we're inside here you can also confirm that it's exactly the same folder okay the d drive uh, document twin motion video files what we can do now is just simply try to type in the name of the file so once we type uh, the, the first few letters of the name of the file it pops up and we can just simply select this and click on open and once we click on open you can see automatically we're having that image play directly you'll be wondering why we have this video file in such coloration maybe you yours is not going to be like this but i can simply tell you why this is happening the reason why this is happening is if you remember earlier when we changed the color you can use these to actually change the overall uh feel that you want to give to your object or to your video file so you see we can go through and just use this to change within this part and also you know give a certain kind of feeling to uh image so for this what we're going to do is just simply push this all the way up and i'm just going to put this directly to the center so it is totally white so a good way to do this is you can just simply type 255 and also 255 here and you have the pure white object that you want directly here next thing which i'm going to do is just simply press ok and there you have it and this is how you can go ahead and add video files to your object directly in twin motion it's more of a hack uh contrary to what you can do directly but uh this works i have not yet tried it with an mov file but i guess you guys should go ahead and try it for now mp4 file seems to work perfectly fine avi file for me for some reason doesn't not really work i think maybe because the file i was trying to use was a bit heavy but mp4 works perfectly fine and this is something i stumbled across and i felt it would be amazing if i can just share it with you guys especially the guys that actually do a lot of architectural stuff and you're trying to leave something like lumion to twin motion and yeah this is the perfect fit for you 
So tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And if you like this video, simply give it a like and don't forget to share with your friends. And if you're new here, it would be amazing if you can just simply hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know once there is any video update. And until I see you guys next time with a tutorial review, free Friday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.